Okay guys, so uh, I'm using this same one, treble. You see a treble with the uh, assistant hook to the side. That's what I'm gonna use today here. The forecast was supposed to be like uh, 20 to 30 knot winds. But it's actually maybe like about five right now. Look at that guys. Oh left right there. No fish today. It's just gonna go around here. Because on the inside there's nothing. It's too shallow. So I'm gonna see if I can push out here just a little bit. Pretty deep here, so if they come up and get it, that means they're pretty hungry. But I think the reef gets shallow because it breaks like right outside over here. Just miss me guys. <laughs> that way. <laughs> I turned it on because it was coming right at me and I guess you never know. Tide is coming up. Oh, here's another one. Better kind of paddle in maybe. I don't know. Guys, for Sean, I wasn't expecting anything. Oh, it looks like a silver one. Might be a barracuda. Small one. Yeah, it's a barracuda. All right, oh, strong one. Look at that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh, it's strong. I don't know why it's not really taking a line though. I mean, it can. There you go, look at that. This area is known for barracuda, guys. Good size one. Look at those teeth on there. You can see that. This is my hand. I don't know where my camera is today, so. But definitely very happy catching one fish. I'm in the perfect spot too, man. And they're just not hooking up. They're hitting it, they're playing with it, but they're not biting it, which means I had no idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I thought they would be hungry by now, you know? But they're just, ah, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Got him. Got him. I knew it. It's not a big one though. Dang it. Not a big one, but I knew there was something there. Where are you? Where, oh yeah. Oh, nah. Double. Double hook, guys. 
Awesome catch. That's going nowhere. Look at this. Can you see that? In the mouth, in the front, and then you got the treble in the back. Poor thing's in pain, probably. Let's bring him down. Ah. Fish is a fish, but it's not the one I want. dark I caught two and I can't complain darn it I really thought it would be a hawkfish or something but not today oh there you go you guys on yeah, it's a puppy right in front of me, guys. <laughs> All right, you stranger. Long time no see. Huh? All day today. Look at that. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Bam! All right, hold on, hold on. I don't want to get the single hook in me. Oh, all right, all right. Ah, all right, hold on, hold on. I got gotcha. you. Okay, nice little papillo. Damn, it came out of nowhere. Huh. Whoa. <laughs> I came out of like four feet away from me, guys. Just bam. Last throw. I gotta go. I can see the, uh, the wind's picking up. All right, guys. I hope you had fun guys. I didn't catch anything to eat, so I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make some tacos for you guys. Real easy. Um, you just gotta get some ingredients. I'll put them down and it's really fast and your kids are gonna love it. So uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one, okay? Aloha guys, take care. Hey guys, how you doing? Uh, thanks for watching my videos and supporting my channel. Um, I just wanted to show you guys um, an easy way to make fish tacos for your kids or for yourself and it's real fast. It's just boom, boom, boom and you just need the right ingredients and you're ready to go. So let me show you. First one, you need avocados. Two, one, doesn't matter. Bigger ones would be better. Second thing you need is onions. You need onions. The third thing you guys need to get, taco. Or what do you call these? Uh, the shell. I buy this brand right here. El Molino. Little tacos. It's about four bucks. It's not bad. It's about a family. So here you go. We put this. And I'm going to probably have... The fish tacos are so good, you're probably going to eat about four to six of them. So what I do is I take these and I put it in a pan like that and I put the top on. Now the top on keeps the moisture in so the tacos get soft. I put it on, actually I want to put it on low. I put it up a little bit higher to heat it up and then when you put it in you want to put it at low. So low there, tacos in there. We're going to put the fish in here with the butter goes in here. And then before we do anything, any fish or anything, what we want to do is we want to get the onions and saute them and then put them in water. So let me get that going. Okay, guys, so you want to heat the, uh, the onions 
There's no oil, nothing, guys. Just it's just plain onions in a pan. If you can see that, I just kind of like toss it around here. So it's starting to get hot. You want to lower the heat down to about medium. And what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to add water. Not too much, but just enough, just to fill it up like that. So just a tad, guys, not too much. And what this does, it A, eliminates the strong taste of onions. And by the way, these are the sweet onions you can buy in any store. Cheap ones. And it softens the uh, the onion. It takes the takes that you know that bitter onion taste out of it. So let that simmer a little bit. Put some salt in there. Oops, kind of game here. And then lastly, I just put a little bit of uh, this uh, garlic and onion. Make sure I'll put that in towards the end. Not right now, I'm gonna let it simmer. Soften it up. Take a look at that guys. Super soft, look at that. Flimsy. That's why you want it. So keep that top on. Okay guys, so this is um, the fish that I caught the other day. Um, still some, a lot of meat left from the filet that I made. So we had some sushi, we actually had some fish tacos also earlier. And uh, we still have some left, so I'm gonna make some more tacos. Okay guys, so here we are, we got the pan a little bit, uh, I got it on medium right now. And uh, it's my favorite part right here, you get some butter, chuck it in there. Salt, depending on how salty you want it. I got my garlic in here, a little bit of spice. Guys, the fish. Piece is right there. It doesn't matter how you put it in, guys, as long as it gets cooked, it's all that matters. Um, you can start actually feeding people uh, when it starts to get cooked. So, the other ingredients, guys, that I want to show you. So, we got our uh, avocados. Uh, we got our cilantro right here. Get it out of the bag if I can. There we go. That up. You can also have uh, romaine lettuce tacos. You actually put the fish in here. The ingredients, roll it up, and you can eat it that way too. So that's one way to eat it. Um, you want to make sure you add your onions in there, and in the end, you want to have your little spice. So we got our um, sriracha or whatever it's called. But uh, it's kind of hot for me, so I put a little bit in there, but it makes it really good. And that's it. And let me just kind of show you the, the final product, what it looks like. See, it's cooking really well around the, the edges over here, guys. So leave it like that. Let it cook all the way through. Don't gotta move around too much. And the kids are going to love it. They're not going to know. You don't even have to tell them what it is. You just cook it and then serve it. And they're going to be like, wow, this is good. And later on, you can tell them what it is. If they're not too familiar with fish. Because they think, you know, they, a lot of kids have that one sense of the bones and all that stuff. And uh, they don't really have a concept of other ways of cooking the fish. So this is one way that they're going to really like the fish. Or what, the ones that you catch.
Guys, also uh, remember, very important here, if you're an adult, this is a very, it's a necessity ingredient when you're cooking. And when you come back from fishing, it's, a, it's very important. And uh, let's see, let's get the opener. Oh yeah. There we go. Another ingredient I forgot to tell you guys about is that's correct. That goes into here and it goes on top of the taco. Very important. Never forget that at the store. So. Alright guys, so here we go. We got the Corona gone. We got the lime in here. Oh look at that. Oh look at that. That. Oh, God. That makes a grown man crying. Ooh, unbelievable. All right, guys, so here we go. We got one, woo, look at steaming. One, two, let's go with three. <laughs> three, and then we're gonna get this really low. And we're gonna take the fish, and we're gonna break it up. We don't need all of it in one. But these are the bite size one guys. These are really, it's really, really good. I got I can't. I wish you guys can have a piece of this so you can appreciate <laughs> what I'm talking about. So we go like that. From there, we go here. We move that over. Lime moves over, we put a little bit of onion. Depending on how much you like. We get some avocado. Just squeeze it out. Or you can get a spoon if you want, if you're civilized. Guys like me, we just kind of squeeze it out. Of course, depending on how much you like. Cilantro, very important. This ingredient makes it complete. And if you don't have this with the lime, it means you don't have it complete. Oh, just so you know, I'm also gonna put a little bit of spice. Oh, does it come out? Hold on, I'm not sure why. There you go, coming out, gosh, coming out right now, here we go, a little spice, a little spice, and a little spice, that's it, that's all you need guys, not too much, and then the lime, the lime comes in, it's right on top of the taco, and it is mouth-watering, okay, so we're done with that, so there you go guys, with that, and that is a complete meal. So what do you think there, Coco? You like the uh, fish tacos? It's my third serving, so uh, I don't know. <laughs> so guys, I think it's a, a big hit with the kids. If you make them uh, the simple process, as I showed you, uh, the kids are going to go crazy. So enjoy and uh, spend time with your kids fishing and cooking. And go diving. Yeah. And go diving. Okay, aloha. Next time we're doing that. There you have it, guys. So that's the way I cook uh, fish tacos here. And everybody can enjoy it. Everybody. There's not one person that's not going to like it. So if you have an extra fish, make some fish tacos. If you have a lot of fish, make some fish tacos. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, take it easy, and I'll catch you on the next one. Okay, aloha.